We're going to test out Captured 3D's ability to create a floor plan when I didn't measure the garage. I measured on Google Earth the size of the garages, and now I'm going to have them attach it to the floor plan because the client asked for the floor plan after the fact. Let's get to it. I'll show you how I send it to Capture, load the information real quick, and then attach the photo with some notes, and let's see how they do. So uh, what we do is we go to the captured.io website, link below, you get $75 credit following that link. And uh, so what I do is I go over to share my Matterport, I make it unlisted or public, I copy that link, and then I go back to my capture.io and paste in the link. And then I put in the street address. I've already uh, inputted this, so I'll just put in the basic one. Property display name. It'll automatically put in the uh, address in the display name, unless you want to call it something else. And uh, I'm going to use one of my existing templates, which is what has my logo on it, the 2D and 3D floor plan, puts the logo in there. And then I put in the notes. I put in please include pool in the floor plans, house square foot. I put in the, what, it, what the house square footage is because it'll be a little bit off based on what your Matterport scan is. It could be a few feet off. So I put in what it actually is based on the information I have. If I don't have that information, then I just let the results as go as they are. And then since I wasn't able to do the garages, I'll tell them the garage measurements. And I got that from Google Earth. I just typed the address in, did a straight down shot of Google, the Google Earth on the house, and then I measured the garages. And then I am going to click here to upload the screenshot of the garages that I, or the house, make sure that's the right house. And then, so they'll be able to do the floor plan here. And then based on that floor plan, they'll know where the garages go. And I click order and then let's see how they did. All right, we got the results back and the first floor plan they sent me is a little bit off uh, or a lot off. So they just did one garage and there should be a garage down here and a garage down here. Uh, they did a great job on the pool. Uh, they're based in Australia, so a few of the, depending on where you're from, some of these are going to be different. This is going to be a great room, so it looks pretty good. Got the pool, the decking. I went outside to create this Matterport, so I opened up this slider, and then I uh, went outside and got the pool scanned as well. If you're interested in seeing that, uh, how that Matterport turned out, uh, let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll. Uh, do a quick video of walkthrough or maybe uh, do a link to the actual Matterport. So basically I'm going to do some notes and you'll be uh, right along with me while I do these notes so you can see how it works. But I'm going to let them know that the garage size is good but they need to rotate it and then place it uh, on each side of this uh, house so the floor plan is more accurate. I'll show you how we do these amendments. So up here, I'm going to move this one to another screen so I remember what sections, uh, what I need to rename. So there we go. So now I'm going to hit amend. Please see attached or correct garage location. There are two garages, same size. Change alfresco go to pool deck outdoor kitchen. That's what it is. All right. And uh, main bedroom comes out here. Main bedroom to owner's suite. Living to the room. So here. I'm pretty sure there wasn't a wall. Oh yeah, this is wrong here. So right here, let me get that draw thing. So this right here, the entry should be right there. And this is like a little bonus room. So I'm gonna point that out. Take a screenshot. Use the uh, screenshot app. Be easier if I had a pen. Fresco's changing, main bedroom's changing. All right, everything else looks good. Shrink this down for now. Move this out of the way again. All right, so this is the house. So the garages are offset just a little bit. So I am gonna draw that in to, I'm gonna send this picture to them and then draw that into the floor plan they created. 
add a file that has that picture right here. All right, that's pretty rudimentary, but what I found is they do a really good job following up. I'm actually surprised they didn't do this or get close to it. Often the wording needs to be changed because they use different wording on different areas. So I'm gonna save this. I'm also gonna attach it. Save that there. And then I'm gonna attach it here as well. Double check. Gotta move the entry. And where it says entry now is a bonus slash then. That's good, that's what that would be. And then you hit request amendment. Once I do the request amendment, if I respond right when I get this back, uh, within 30 minutes to an hour, I get the requested amendment updated. Uh, sometimes it takes up to six to eight hours, but that's not too often. Never had to wait 24 hours for a correction. All right, and after sending it back two more times, because it was my mistake on one of them, we got the final results. So you open, go into your captured again, so as you can see, we had the garages added in the correct spot. And there was this pop out that we couldn't figure out how exactly it went in. And then finally I went to the county site, got the generic floor plans and figured that part out because I didn't go in there to get those measurements. So that is the results, as you can see. And then, you know, just an extra point, I went out there, Matterport scanned the pool area to get that deck. The only thing I didn't do because we weren't aware of doing the floor plan was these two garages. But through Google Earth measurements and other things, we were able to add it on. And that is how we're going to deliver it. If you have any questions, comment below. It's going to be a long portrait style video. Have a great day.